are you? We're going to get started on your psychic tarot reading for the month of October. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Aries. Let's get started, guys. Let's use this deck. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh oh, in the sign of Aries. This is your psychic tarot reading for the month of October. Let's give this two more good shuffles and we're going to get started. I'm going to start by pulling four cards. All right, here we go. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your psychic tarot reading for the month of October. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Wow, really? The Seven of Swords? The Page of Swords? The Nine of Wands? And the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Let's see. All right, guys. So I feel like there is um, something that you've been suspecting, something that you're, you could be curious about, something you've been thinking about at the very least, okay? I feel like this situation uh, revolves around a particular person, Seven of Swords, which um, has been they have been doing some highly questionable things. Okay. I feel like this is something that either one, you're suspecting, two, you are aware about this, you just found out or will be finding out this October and it's going to be something that you're going to start looking more into, like you're, going, you're, you're, you're watching, you're on to a particular person, okay? Seven of Swords. I feel like there could be some kind of responsibility here. Something a particular person is trying to avoid doing. I feel like this is something you have already gotten communication about or will be getting communication about in the month of October. I feel like it's a situation you have to be very diligent with, very careful with. If there's any kind of paperwork, again, you know, um, I feel like paying very close attention because there is an individual here with the Seven of Swords, which um, I feel I'm hearing could, I'm hearing, um, back, back, what is it, back, back, back off, back away. Do what's not expected. So yeah, there, there's there's someone here, guys, that that you know they're they're wanting to go around, you know, things. They're trying to avoid. They're trying to get away with not being held, perhaps, accountable, responsible for something. I feel like you will be communicating with this individual, Page of Swords, with the Nine of Wands. Do you see how the Nine of Wands looks here? Usually the Nine of Wands in the Rider deck, this one over here, is depicted as like a soldier that's beat up. Here it's depicted as a, a, ver a very strong presence, right? This individual here is very present. And in fact, here it looks like a guard. He's, he's just the guard. I mean, this is someone that you have to keep a close watch on and not let your guard down with. I'm also getting this is also an individual with the nine of wands that is not going to be allowed to I mean not do anything not do nothing ace of pentacles let's see what is this I yeah I feel like that something is expected from them okay and I feel like that's what this ace of pentacles is representing here they're, they're, ex they're expected. Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, I'm hearing, and they're still going to be, you know, expected to do this. And they don't want to. Okay, let's, let's, what exactly is, what is it? Okay, like what is, what is this about the Seven of Swords? We have the Four of Cups 
and then the Queen of Wands. Okay, so the Four of Cups is somebody, look, this is somebody that is just not in, not into the situation, right? This is also a person that lacks inspiration. To me, I'm hearing they're just not feeling it. This would be like a person that just doesn't want to do it. This is a person that just doesn't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I just, I don't want to do it. I mean, do they have any really good reason not to? Mm, I mean, not necessarily other than not just not wanting to do it. Seven of Swords and then this Four of Cups. So yeah, this is a, this, I feel like this is also a, a careless person. This is a careless individual. Now with the Queen of Wands being here, I feel like what this is saying is they need some extra motivation, inspiration to, they need some extra motivation. So pretty much what I see here, guys, is an individual that has been avoiding, okay? They have not been wanting to take accountability, responsibility for a particular situation, behavior, whatever the case, there's someone here that is just avoiding. Why? With the Four of Cups, they, they, lack, they lack the inspiration. What does that mean? They just don't want to do it. With the Queen of Wands being here, I feel like this is saying they need... I'm hearing a push. They need a push. I feel like this could be you, Aries. Of course, this, it could, this is the feminine uh, Aries. Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands has the ability to inspire anybody. That's what she does. She's like a mo she's a motivational speaker, especially so here with this Page of Swords. So I see you, Aries, doing something perhaps taking some sort of action, whatever energy you're going to be exuding, it's going to, whatever it is that you're going to do, for many of you, a conversation, communicate, you're going to inspire an individual here who lacks that, who, you know, because of, you know, the way that they feel. I mean, they're, um, they're resorting here to some highly questionable behavior. Now, the type of inspiration here I'm hearing that you're going to provide, I mean, that could be countless of things. You're going to say you're going to do something I'm hearing that is going to tell them, I'm hearing that it's going to send the message of Nine of Wands. Um, you just can't let you you just can't do that you just can't let let this go i'm not going to let that happen nine of wands that is a problem oh you think it's that easy you think you're just going to do that and like whatever no nine of wands it's not going to be that easy nine of pentacles you're expected to do something all right, one more card for this Nine of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups, guys, has to do with joy, happiness, celebration. Um, it has to do with groups of people. So I feel like this is some... Um, I also see this Three of Cups uh, sometimes as some sort of... Uh, like plans, okay, could be some sort of agreement plan that go that goes well. So yeah, I feel like there's something here that that is expected to go well. I mean, that is expected to go well, or is expected to turn out in I mean, in a particular way, in the way that it's supposed to. I mean, in in the way that it should. So again, I see someone, guys. What I see here is an individual that. Um, is wanting to take a shortcut. They're not wanting to do, act, behave, um, take responsibility, accountable for something in particular, okay, here that is in connection to you. I see you delivering some sort of message, communicating, doing something, okay, that is going to send the message to this person that this is not something that they should be thinking about doing. Future energy, guys. Future, how can you expect this to unfold, my dear Aries? We have the 
what is this? This is the temperance. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Interesting. One more card. Guys, so the temperance has to do with everybody. It, it has to do with, you know, meeting in the middle. So I, I feel like uh, for you, my dear Aries, you're in a situation where two people have to have to work together at the very least energetically to be able to find harmony in this with the with the uh, with the temperance now with the ten of swords um, I feel like that's going to be a problem obviously ten of swords yeah mm, okay one more card we have we have the ten of wands guys so the ten of wands is it's it's a burden okay it's a burden guys what i see here um is that i i feel like some somebody taking some sort of you know shortcut here not taking accountability and not taking responsibility simply just because they don't feel like it. it's pretty effed up um and or yeah not 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 investing not not putting forth um a, yeah i'm not want to say effort but just not giving you know what they're supposed to hear not 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 at the level that they're uh, expected or that they should with the temperance with the ten of swords i feel like you can expect this individual uh to to f you over in some kind of way here I mean, to back, back, back away, to, to not completely, fully uh, do. And with the Ten of Wands, I feel like that is uh, going to, uh, I'm hearing, be a burden here for you. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like there's an individual here that is not wanting to, uh, they're dumping all the responsibility on you. I don't feel like that's fair and I feel like it's simply just because they don't want to be bothered they don't want to be bothered here so they're um, having you deal with all I'm hearing all the heavy-duty work here and they're not going to be I'm hearing making things easy for you uh, this could be an individual again that makes things it makes things difficult for you just because they just don't they just whatever that's the energy they have I do feel like there's um, some um, message communication here that you're going to have with this individual where this is going to be apparent. This is what you should expect. Interesting. And then right now I'm hearing, but it's not going to stay that way. Okay, so what's going to be the overall outcome for this? That's what you can ex immediately expect from them, I feel, for the month of October. But aside from that, Overall, Spirit, can you just give me one card to depict here or to show us like what is the outcome overall for all of this? We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups, guys. So the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, okay? So I that Nine of Cups to me is like this is something that is going to be resolved because look, the Seven of, the seven of Swords is in the wrong. Again, this is a person that is choosing to do things um, a, a, a different way in which it only suits them. This is a person do, not caring for others and doing what serves them at that time, which is uh, very, it could be unethical. Okay, Seven of Swords. They really don't give a damn. Look, Four of Swords, blah, whatever. They're not even thinking. It's like they don't even think twice about this, really. Again, there will be some sort of communication here that they uh, receive. Let me just get one more card. What is this? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles has to do with, like, I'm hearing a different plan, having to wait as well. So again, I feel like this is a situation that needs some sort of resolution. I feel like that is going to be prolonged, okay, simply because an individual here is just not wanting to. Is only thinking about themselves and and they're they're I'm hearing they're not thinking about you know the position here that they they're putting you in ten of wands I feel like this is going to uh, be a problem it's going to be a burden and extra responsibility here that you're going to have to deal with with the ten of swords that's not going to sit right um, 
that behavior here is not right, it's not acceptable. It could be, uh, you know, uh, just, just being done wrong could be deception as well. And here with this temperance, I feel like it has to do with not being mid in the middle. Nine of Cups, I feel like you can expect this to turn out um, in your favor. Maybe not in the month of October, but just overall. I feel like you will. this will um, end in, in, in a satisfactory way for you, my dear uh, Aries. Okay, that's what we have. Let's get an oracle card. My dear, if you want to book a reading with me, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. If you have an Instagram, please do follow me on there. That link is down below. Let's use, okay, okay, yeah, let me get it from here. Let's see, Aries, 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 let's have a card, an oracle card for you to close the reading. It says, rise and shine. That reminds me of the nine of cups. So it's like rise and shine is a brand new day. So, which to me, it tells me, look, it, this, this is going to end and it's going to end in a positive way. That's what you need to look forward to. This is going to end in, in, a, in a good way, okay? It is. Rise and shine. There's going, is, there's going to be better days. Maybe the month of October is going to drag. It's going to feel heavy. But overall, this is going to get better. And the Nine of Cups, I feel like the outcome overall when this is over... It's, it's going to be in your favor. This is what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.